Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. 2022 has been another very challenging year for the health of the world's people. The third year of the COVID-19 pandemic, a global outbreak of MPOX, an Ebola outbreak in Uganda, wars in Ethiopia and Ukraine, cholera outbreaks in multiple countries, drought and flooding in the greater Horn of Africa and the Sahel, flooding in Pakistan, and numerous other health emergencies. That's not to mention the multiple other threats to health that people face year in, year out, in the air they breathe, the products they consume, the conditions in which they live and work, and in their lack of access to essential health services. And yet, as 2022 draws to a close, we still have many reasons for hope. The COVID-19 pandemic has declined significantly this year. The global monkeypox outbreak is waning, and there have been no cases of Ebola in Uganda for more than three weeks. We're hopeful that each of these emergencies will be declared over at different points next year. Certainly, we are in a much better place with the pandemic than we were a year ago. When we were in the early stages of the Omicron wave, with rapidly increasing cases and deaths. But since the peak at the end of January, the number of weekly reported COVID-19 deaths has dropped almost 90%. However, there are still too many uncertainties and gaps for us to say the pandemic is over. 